Outdoors Bound on WFXR News. Brought to you by these sponsors. All right, we're headed outdoors bound this morning as a controversial form of fishing in Virginia is about to become the focus of state lawmakers in Richmond. The General Assembly opened its 2024 session on Wednesday and a little fish is getting some big time attention from power brokers at the state capitol. WFXR's George Noliff is following this situation closely and he joins us now this morning with the story. George. Hey, Brandon, until we start doing stories about it, have you ever heard of a reduction fishery? No. Yeah, yeah, that's and that's the issue. A lot of people had not. Even biologists and fisheries managers still don't have a good idea of what impact it has on Virginia and the Chesapeake Bay, but that could be changing for all of us. How y'all doing there, folks? State lawmakers about to take up a bill which would fund the Virginia Institute of Marine Sciences to study the impact of reduction fishing on Virginia's portion of the Chesapeake. Now that comes with a $4 million price tag. While well, we're talking dollars in Virginia, the target species is the Atlantic Menhaden, a tiny fish with a billion dollar impact. We need some research and we also need to make sure we're proactive or conservation minded in our management. That's Chris Moore, senior scientist with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. And what he says is being echoed by other conservation groups that research needs to be done to figure out just what impact industrial fishing for Medhaden is having on the Chesapeake. That's why a bill's been introduced by Republican delegate R. Lee Ware to fund that research. That's welcome news to fishing and conservation groups. Every sport fish there is that's, you know, bigger than your palm of your hand at one point or another is, is probably uh, dependent or uh, a major part of their diet uh, in, includes uh, includes Bunker Atlantic Menhaden. Virginia is the only Atlantic coast state that allows reduction fishing in estuaries like the bay. Fleets of boats, spotter planes, technologies are all used to locate and net them. Then those Menhaden are reduced to fish meal or fish oil. While there's a huge market for that, Atlantic Menhaden are also a vital forage species for game and commercial fish like striped bass and red drum. They're also a prime food source for ospreys, whales, and dolphins. Little fish, big impact. So ensuring that we have enough of that forage fish out there in the ecosystem is where a lot of groups have been focused over the last couple of years to ensure we have a healthy overall ecosystem. Now, the bill to fund that research was pre-filed. We're still waiting to see which committee it gets assigned to. A measure to require the research was passed last year. This bill would provide the money for it. The study would take three years to complete. And so why is reduction fishing in the bay so controversial, George? Well, Virginia sport and commercial fishermen say they've seen a decrease in the number of sport fish like striped bass and red drum. They claim menhaden are being overharvested. A recent study by William & Mary found young osby chicks, there's a type of raptor, are starving in their nest because of a lack of food. They also feed heavily on menhaden. For its part, the industrial fishing industry says research shows coastwide, now we're talking the entire Atlantic Ocean, menhaden stocks are just fine. Now this research is going to establish the health of local stocks and determine if they're being overharvested in the bay. All right, well, we all know that you're going to stay on top of this and give us all these updates, George, so we really appreciate you joining us this morning with your Outdoors Bound report. We'll see you.